Hey everybody, welcome to my Sonic the Hedgehog movie review. Uh, so this movie was directed by James Fowler, and it stars James Morrison and Ben Schwartz as Sonic's voice, and also Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Um, so before I get started, everybody knows, uh, like, when I first heard that they were going to do this, it's kind of like, oh my god, another video game movie, when are these executives going to learn? When are they going to stop doing this? Video games do not translate well. Um... And then everybody knows that first trailer came out, and if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be exemplary. Because this movie, if they had used the original Sonic from that first trailer, that Sonic looked like crap. They always want to stray from the actual source material, which the source material is why something is popular. They want to stray from that and try to make it more relatable to everybody by making it real. That original Sonic, if they use that, it doesn't work because that Sonic looked horrible. And for for this movie to work, you need to like Sonic. You need to, he needs to be likable. He, he needs to be adorable. Uh, and him as a design and as the way he's designed in the video games, he is. And they cha they changed him and delayed the movie and changed him to a design that's more like the uh, video game. And that was a brilliant, great idea. So the movie does work. And I'd even go as far as to say that this is the second best comic book movie ever made after Mortal Kombat. It worked. And I, I wanted everybody to go see this movie to show that when you listen to your audience, it pays off. This movie would have been a hor horrendous flop had they not changed Sonic. They even delayed it. Um, Jim Carrey was classic Jim Carrey from the 90s. I haven't seen this kind of Jim Carrey in a while. James Morrison was good. His... Um, his, his chemistry with, I guess, I don't know if he was, uh, there was a guy in a suit or what it was for Sonic. Uh, but uh, he was good. And it was, the, the movie's actually endearing, too. Um, I, okay, now, I will admit, I dozed off for a second. Sonic gets new shoes at one point and I dozed off. But that is because I went and ate a gigantic uh, prime rib from, from a restaurant. And, uh, and then I went and saw the movie and it just, it was, it was, it was killing me. I was like... <sighs> When, when I eat like that, uh, I haven't eaten like a giant piece of steak like that in a long time. So uh, whenever I do, um, it puts me out. But uh, on the Star Trek scale, I'll give this movie a 60 out of 100, and I would describe it as exemplary. I did leave right when the credits started, and I guess there's a mid credit scene where Tails shows up. And so I missed it, which I was, I was like, oh, dang it. Uh, but, you know, I'll catch it later. Uh, I'll catch it on YouTube or something like that. Um, uh, I'm just really glad that they that they changed the design and uh, yeah uh, I, I was happy because I, I love these Sonic games I played Sonic 1, 2, and 3 Sonic and Knuckles um, Sonic Pinball uh, I had a Sega Genesis I did not have a Super Nintendo my family could only afford one per generation so we had the gen we had an NES then we had a Genesis and then they had a uh, 64 um, by the time the 64 came out though I was already moved out of the house so, anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's an endearing and exemplary movie. Uh, please listen to your audience. Don't tell them what they should want. The people who made these characters popular are, are the reason they're popular. Um, I know th that they want to have, like, mass market appeal, but don't... You can't ignore your core audience. Otherwise, it's just going to be a disaster. Anyways... Let me know what you guys thought. Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.